It is hard to imagine that millions of years ago, the area we know as Kashmir today was a gigantic lake. It was only 12,000 years ago, as the water from the lake began to drain, its fertile bed became habitable, providing a base for the early human settlers. Few who visit Srinagar today realize that the area around the Dal Lake has seen continuous settlements for over 5,000 years. There are as many as 15 Neolithic sites strewn across the valley. Till about 2.5 million years ago, Kashmir was a giant 5,000 square kilometer lake. It was the rise of the Pir Panjal range around 5 million years ago that led to the massive topographical changes in this region. Further tectonic movements led to a breach in the Pir Panjal range, leading to the formation of the Jhelum River, which originates at Anantanag. As the river cutting across the higher ranges gave an outlet to the Himalayan waters, the lake shrank, opening up its old bed. Around 5,000 years ago, this fertile land attracted early settlers. Situated in Burzahom, near Srinagar, is one of the finest sites from the Neolithic period. Burzaho is among the best known Neolithic sites in India for several reasons. Archaeologists believe that the Neolithic settlers at Burzaho used these pits as their winter homes. For archaeologists, another standout feature of the Burzaho site was that the burials here were unlike any other during this period in the subcontinent. The humans were buried here along with animals, both wild and domestic. Archaeologists believe that the animals may have been killed and buried along with the dead and their meat could have been intended as grave goods. These burials were mostly found in the habitation area. The site of Burzaho was continuously occupied for over 2000 years and the evolution in architecture and lifestyles is evident here. The Neolithic communities of the Kashmir Valley evolved over time and marched into history. No wonder then that geography and the ever-changing Himalayan landscape define Kashmir even today.